everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightorama S5. In today's video, we'll briefly walk through each of the base motion effect options in the motion effect generator and recommendations for when you might want to use certain effects. If you don't see all of the options in this tutorial on your screen, check to make sure that you're on the latest version of the software. In order to use motion effects, you'll need the pro license level of the software and to create motion effect rows for each prop that will be using these types of effects. Please watch the tutorials with titles relating to motion effect rows or motion effects for more information about how and why to create motion effect rows and the anatomy of using the motion effect generator in general to create and modify effects. The first preset effect option is the Archimedes spiral. You'll need at least two colors for this effect, then you can change how often the palette repeats and the dimension of the arms. With many effects, you can adjust the speed and direction, as well as change where the center of the effect is left to right and top to bottom. With this effect in particular, don't forget to try out black as one of your colors to create a more interesting looking effect. The audio effect can only be used when there is sound in the sequence. You can choose from multiple styles of audio interpretation, change where the base of the effect lines up, alter how the colors are displayed, and change which frequencies are used for this effect. The bars effect creates distinct sections of color. You can change the direction of the bars and how often the palette repeats, and add in the highlight or show 3D options for an even more interesting look. Blended bars is similar to bars, but since the bars blend together in this option, the best way to alter this effect is to change the bar width. When blended with other effects, this option can produce results like the elevator effect from the LOR Shared Favorites folder. One of the most well-known effects is the butterfly effect with a rainbow palette, but that's not all you can do with this option. You can switch the palette mode to different choices and change the settings for chunks and skips, or change the style of the butterfly entirely. The bottom options allow you to change the settings related to direction, and hue shift can change your colors. Consider using transition effects with the butterfly to change the color over time. Color wash is the motion effect equivalent of a color fade effect for dumb RGB lights. You can use a single color or gradients, or use a dither for a checkered effect. Selecting options in horizontal and vertical fade will give this effect an extra layer of depth. The countdown effect is a great introduction for a show. Just type in the number of seconds and choose the settings for your font. The curtain effect has many applications, on its own or blended with a second effect. You can select where the edge of the curtain will dock, then choose if the effect will open, close, or do both. Most commonly, you'll set the repeat mode to fit to duration so that it takes the entire length of your effect to complete. A great combination for this effect is to put the curtain on the right, select Right Reveals Left as your mixer option, then select your main effect over on the left. The curtain will slowly reveal your main option over the duration of the effect. The fire effect is just what you'd expect. Select the hue and height of your flames, then select where the effect is docked on your prop. Fireworks can be set to continuous mode or all at the beginning and set to explode in a variety of patterns. You can adjust the sliders in this effect to change how the fireworks act, such as how quickly they explode and fade away at the end. The garland effect fills your prop shape one flat line at a time or in three other patterns. Changing the spacing will alter how far apart the lines will fill then you can change the repeat mode and speed, just like with many other effects. The hold effect is meant to be placed after an active effect. The hold effect will freeze wherever the last effect left off. A great use case for a hold effect would be as a fade out from 100% to 0% as a transition from an active effect at the end of a significant section of music. The lightning effect creates a bolt of lightning in a singular color, the start and end positions correspond to the top and bottom of the strike. You can increase the number of strikes, the speed, the thickness of the lightning bolt, and how brightly the strikes flash in the background. Much like a sign for an outside theater, the marquee effect outlines your prop. However, that's not all you can do with this effect. Changing the spacing, filled space, and size will give you quite a different look, as will changing the sides the pattern follows on its way around your prop. Meteors is another well-known effect. You can switch from rainbow to palette and adjust the number of meteors and length of their tails. 
The real customization comes by changing the Meteor's effect and drop mode options. You can have the Meteor's come from any direction and create a completely different look by altering how the Meteor's drop. Mixing two Meteor effects, like in the Meteor Twist LOR Shared Favorite, will open up an additional layer of possibilities. The Movie Effect allows you to insert a movie clip for a period of time in your sequence, or the entire length. If you're trying to play a movie on a projector and not a pixel prop, you can just use a .mp4 as your audio file for the sequence instead of a .mp3. Remember to take resolution into account when selecting a movie file. If the video has a resolution of 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels, and your pixel tree is only a 16 by 50, that's a lot of data the sequencer has to remove. Try finding lower resolution videos for best results. None is the most straightforward effect. As a shortcut to set an effect back to none, press Shift on your keyboard, then click the Reset Effect Parameters button next to the drop-down menu. Picture and Picture XY allow you to add static images into your display as well as GIFs. You can have your sequence reference the file in your computer or embed the picture so you can copy the sequence to somewhere else. In both effects, you can change the RGB values of the image as well as the width and height. If you want your image to use a preset movement effect, the picture effect is a better choice. If you want to focus on changing the placement of the image along the X and Y axes, you'll use picture XY. Pinwheel is another common effect. The creativity comes from changing the parameters of the arms in the pinwheel, then adjusting the color mode of the arms and the location of the pinwheel on the prop. A ripple effect can display in a variety of shapes. If you have the ripple repeat and you've selected multiple colors, the effect will rotate through your selections in order, then repeat. You can change the thickness of the rings and the spacing between them, and then alter where the center of the ripple starts. To reverse the ripple, select the inward option at the bottom of this effect. If you have spinner or snowflake props, a ripple is a great effect choice. A scanner effect has a variety of options for how the lights behave. You can have a single scanner line that repeats from the same direction, or one that bounces back and forth. If you select multiple colors, you can create dual, mirror, or flash effects, and adjust the size and tail length of the sections. The scanner effect is a particularly great choice if you're looking for a bouncing effect with pea stakes. With simple shape, you can use a common preset shape or import your own picture. Once you select your base, you can alter the width and height of the shape and change how the colors interact. Then choose if you want to set the rotated angle of the shape manually, or have the shape continuously rotate for the entire duration at your chosen speed. To increase the number of shapes, just change the horizontal and vertical count. For a unique look, try using the LOR Shared Favorite Gears effect and changing the type of shape. Single Block is one of the most useful motion effect options. On its own, you can create sweeping fades across a prop, which automatically play for the duration of your motion effect. No need to manually set the speed. To use multiple colors, change the mode to Color Blocks or Color Blend, then adjust the head, body, and tail lengths to increase the respective sections of the effect. If you're trying to create a leaping effect for an arch, alternating a single block effect left and right is a great choice. Similar to the curtain effect, Single Block also works well with the Right Reveals Left Mixer effect. Just put the Single Block effect on the right and your main effect on the left. Snowflakes are another well-known effect. Use the sliders to change the number of snowflakes and the snowflake type, then further customize the effect by changing the direction, speed, and accumulation. Spin Fade has a few different style options for shape. Then you can make adjustments to the inner radius for a different look to the effect. Like many other presets, you can adjust the width and height and change the location of the center of the effect. If you overlay two Spin Fade effects, you can create completely new looks like the Bouncing Balls effect in the LOR Shared Favorites folder. The Spinner effect is one of the most versatile options, especially for creating mixed effects. You can set the style, color mode, radius, dimensions, and location like with the spin fade effect, but here you can also adjust the number of arms, the curvature, and arm bend. 
By combining different variations of the spinner effect, you can create results like the flower, lava, and portal effect in the LOR Shared Favorites folder. Spirals are another well-known effect choice. For a more unique look, alter the thickness and rotation of the spirals. If you unlock the transition mode for rotation, you can have the spirals swap sides during the duration of the effect. And if you mix two spirals in a certain way, you can even simulate a Christmas tree covered in colored lights. The straight lines effect allows you to select different directional patterns for straight lines of solid colors. Add some creativity to this effect by changing the spacing and filled space of the lines. If you want to add words to a prop, use the text effect. Text PE simulates the old style pixel editor method and is included for backwards compatibility when upgrading sequences from S4. In the text effect, type the word you want to appear and change the font settings using the toolbar above. You can alter the font size and text movement using the sliders directly below and change repeating settings towards the bottom. Twinkle is another common effect. Change the number of twinkling pixels using density and the speed by changing rate. There are multiple modes to choose from for how the twinkling acts and two layouts for how it displays. If you don't want the twinkling to fade completely off, just raise the minimum intensity. Last in the list is the wave effect. You can change the direction and colors, as well as how many waves show up in the pattern. Amplitude changes the height of the waves. Frequency alters how often there are waves, and the thickness makes the waves larger. Overlaying two wave effects can create results like the infinity waves and the mirror effect in the LOR Shared Favorites folder. Once you understand the basic options and a few use cases for all of the preset effects in the Motion Effect Generator, you can go to the next level and start modifying the sliders in each effect, mixing effects, and layering effects in multiple motion effect rows per prop. Be sure to check out those specific videos or visit the Lightarama help documentation for more information. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.